Hello everyone, this is Carl from WeTech Careview and today I'm going to show you how to upload a custom colour theme for your modern SharePoint site. Now we'll be using PowerShell to do this and as you can see on the screen, um, a lot of different themes come out of the box for your site, but as I've done over and over again, a lot of customers or even maybe yourself want custom colours or a certain colour for your branding to match into your site and this is how you will upload the theme. Um, I've also done this as a blog post so all the steps, all the code are on our website. I'll put a link in the description to see this but for now let's get started on, on actually doing the process. So before you start this process you should know which colour you want your site theme to be. So what you want to find is the hex colour or the RGB colour. Um, for now, I'm just going to pick this crazy green um, for the theme that I'm going to create. Next, you want to go to the Microsoft Theme Generator. Um, again, the link to this is in the blog post that I posted on our site, so you can get that from there. So on this Theme Generator, what you want to do is in this primary theme color here, you want to paste the hex number of the primary color you want to have. And when you click off of that, that should change to the color so you can see that. Um, relating to the body text colour and the body background colour, nine times out of ten I would just leave this as is. It's only the primary theme colour. However, in the past I've been asked to do, you know, multi colours, not having just one theme colour, and that is possible to do that. But you'll have to look into to other blog posts for that. Um, so if you've added your colour here, you can see the primary colour is done. So if you just scroll down, you've got your three different outputs here. And today we are going to use PowerShell. So for this, this is what is generated from as in the theme up at the top here. So firstly, what I want you to do is control A to take all of this and copy it to a blank notepad file. You will need to use that later. So PowerShell ready. What you want is SharePoint Online Management Shell. Uh, so if you just right click that and run as administrator. The first thing we are going to do is we're going to run the command get credential. So as you can see here, this will store our credentials in a user credential variable. So when you run this command, this will pop up, open a new window for you to enter your username and password. Now be careful because this username and password needs to be an administrator on your SharePoint tenant. Um, once that's done, that should all be fine. The next command we want to run is the connect SPO service command. Now this is the command that connects us to your tenant. So as you can see here, it's using the credentials that we've just entered into this variable and it's connecting to the admin. So that's all good and that seems to work. There's no errors. If you get errors, that most probably is because you're not an administrator of that of your tenant. So the next piece of code that we need to paste into this PowerShell window is this function. Um, so this function has the dictionary. So the whole reason behind this is it, it takes the hashes from your script of PowerShell and it runs it into a dictionary. So this is how you upload the theme into your environment. Once you've run that function, again, this is on the blog post where you can get all the raw code. Once you've run that function, we then need to use the piece of PowerShell that you had saved earlier. So as you can see, I've got this piece of PowerShell array, which was saved earlier, and we just need to add a couple of lines either side of that array. So what I'll, you can do, as you can see on the screen, we just need to add a line before, which is a theme palette variable equals the function hash the dictionary which we've just created and then we just need to end that bracket at the end of it so again all this code is on the blog post so now we need to copy all of this block of code and paste it into the screen like so and that should return no issues all good and then we have just got one more command which we need to run um which is the add spo theme command so as you can see here, we've got add SPO theme, which is the commandlet, the name of the theme that you wish to name it, and then the palette. So the palette is what we've just created here. And as you can see, that's all ran successfully. So just to quickly recap on them, we entered our credentials 
into a variable. We use those credentials to connect to our SharePoint tenant. And then we added the custom colors into that tenant. So now if I just refresh my page. So if you click on the cog, click change the look and click theme. You can now see the demo test theme there. So there's that theme that I've just uploaded. And as you can see, you can just quickly apply that. And there's that nice, lovely green applied to my dev site. So that's everything from me. Thanks for watching. Again, refer to, please refer to the blog post on the website to get all the custom code. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.